Bright dear friends, wherever you are, on the face of this very planet Earth, once again we welcome you to our live and interactive broadcast in this day and age of revolution when young people in Nigeria have risen up to say enough is enough. We are gathered all over the world, from New Zealand to Japan, all the way to the west coast of the United States of America and the Polynesian islands in between. I welcome you sincerely and wholeheartedly this evening. And as I do so, allow me to encourage you to welcome other people as well our young people are out on the streets demonstrating a righteous anger over a system and a society and a government that over the years have decided to make their lives a misery. What they are asking for is noble and they are not going to stand down. We are going to continue until victory is secured. Because people are listening right across the face of this very planet, I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to some of you. Because unlike any other, this very platform, this noble platform is reaching out to the entirety of humanity. My name is Enam Dekano. I am the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. All over this planet Earth. The director of Radio Biafra. And by the very special grace of the Most High, Elohim, Chupu Okike Abiyama Prumihanine, a servant of the wonderful people of Biafra, and for the time being, and proudly so, a servant of the young, brave youths of Nigeria. We are going to pray, as we normally do here. Because we are in a revolutionary period does not mean you shouldn't come to class with your pen and paper. You know here we cure every illness. You know in those days when you enter a train from Kanu to Iguacha, in those days you have people clamber on board and begin to hawk their ways. They will bring out all manner of concoctions and they then tell you it will cure everything. If you say you have back pain, they will tell you it will cure it. You have headache, the same thing will cure, the same medicine you know, in the same bottle will cure it. You have stomach echo, that same medicine in the same bottle will cure it. You have arthritis, the same medicine in the same bottle will cure it. Even if you think that your next door neighbor is stopping you from progressing, that same bottle of uh, concoction will cure it. This very evening, we are going to cure a lot of illnesses. If you are daft here, you will learn. 
If you are foolish here by listening to us, you become wise. If you are badly educated or ill tutored here, you will become an intellectual. If you are shy at debates after listening to us, you will become an expert at debating people. If you are suffering from envy, here we cure you. You are suffering from that age-old Igbo disease, up and decay, and decay, jealousy. Here we cure you. If you are suffering from amnesia, on Radio Biafra, we cure you. Amnesia means selective recollection of events or bouts or persistent bouts of forgetfulness. Those who have forgotten how IPOB, Biafran, young people were slaughtered at Mpo. Over 1,300 slaughtered in one day. Those of you that can no longer remember, but you remember the burning of a police station, here we make you remember Mpo. 30th of May 2016, a date that will live in infamy. Any, anybody having issues with our young people, what they're doing in Anambra in respect of Nigeria police, I think you're a very terrible, horrible person. When they were slaughtering IPOB at Tumpo, what did you do? And we told you that the day of reckoning is coming. The day of reckoning is coming. And it is now upon us. Let us call God first of all before we deal with idiots. Let us call upon Elohim first. I do apologize to heaven. Let us call upon God Almighty in heaven. First, we are going to stop calling them protesters. They are revolutionaries. Because very soon they will go into the bushes. Mbaho said, yeah, that time on after they think we are going to back down they are foolish let Elohim take pride of place in our lives we told them before that we are mad they are now going to see original madness of one thing care madness everyone and we are going to capture Yusuf Abu Bakr Muhammad we'll capture him alive we will capture him alive. Chineke Buno or Kundioshi, Zoological Republic. I don't know if I'm to pray in the language of heaven or to pray a prayer to salute the courage of all the revolutionaries out on the streets. Not the not the not the vagabonds, the idiots who are stealing. The genuine revolutionaries who are out on the streets. And as I pray this evening, I pray for the spirit of Chiko Kikadi and Apremi and the God Almighty in heaven. The people who are being shot. You say you do Odeshi, you come in front of a, in front of a gun. The same Odeshi our forefathers did, yet Britain conquered us and colonized us. You people don't learn. The best Odeshi you have is your, your intelligence and your brain. Ndara, you are doing Odeshi. Mad people everywhere. Let us pray. Because as we approach to Kikabema Prumi Henry this evening, we are making it clear I am not a supporter of Odesh. That is rubbish. It is superstition. It is garbage. Pure garbage. The best armies in the world don't do it. And they colonized you. In the village, looking for native daughter to do Odeshi. When an idiot is shooting at you, you're going, you are little Odeshi. About more idiots. You don't have any brain. Let us call upon Elohim. Somebody's asking me to pray. <laughs> Please pray. Hey, our Lord, our God Almighty Creator who dwelleth 
in the firmament that is beyond the comprehension of man. You are not only holy, you are heavenly. You are high and you are a mighty king of kings. The Lord of lords, who from your throne you behold all that dwell on this very earth. You are the absolute ruler with powers that are supreme and uncontrolled over all the kingdoms, empires and governments of the world from your throne in heaven as the Lord of the host of heavens, you are looking down in mercy upon your children who are being mercilessly slaughtered but have remained very brave and courageous in the face of a very brutal and unrelenting enemy. We beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, on these brave young Nigerian youths who are out on the streets. We have come to thee because we are fleeing, we are running away from the rod of the oppressor and we have thrown ourselves at thy feet asking for your gracious protection we desire, O oh Heavenly Father, nothing more than to be dependent on thee and not on any charms or amulets formulated by a demented idiot somewhere under a tree. Because you are Lord and you are God. To thee and only to thee have we appealed for the righteousness of the cause that these youths are pursuing. To thee do we now look up to for support and for countenance. Not to gossipers, not to efulefus, not to saboteurs who have been banished wherever they are hiding this very evening. Take these children, these Nigerian youths, that we are presenting before thee this evening, morning and night, all over the world. O oh, Heavenly Father, under thy nurturing care, give them wisdom in counsel and valor in the field. Make them the brave warriors that they are. Defeat the malicious designs of Fulani Janjaweed and the British who are only paying lip service to independence in Africa, but in actual fact are neo-colonialists. They call us fools and animals who cannot reason, but now those that can reason properly have risen up. Convince them of the unrighteousness of their cause, all of them who gang up against their own children. And if they persist in their savagery, constrain them to drop their weapons of war and understand the futility and hopelessness of Fulani expansionist tendencies. Give us victory. Give all the youths of Nigeria victory over their wicked fathers. Give them victory over elders who are presiding over iniquity. Grant them victory over a bunch of old criminals holding their future down. 
unshackled them from the bondage of ignorance and tribalism. Open their eyes that they may see the plans of the enemy. That through division have they succeeded in holding us in bondage for over 60 years. Let your mercy dwell upon the hearts of men. Let them refrain from anything that will bring dishonor or shame to this very cause. Grant us your kindness. Give us a meek disposition that at the end of the day, these brave young youths shall be free. Not dependent on any white country intervening to save them, but understanding that sacrifice is needed to accomplish a task of this magnitude. That only through your grace, Will you set your children free that in the end we shall celebrate and honor those who have fallen? We shall take care of the sick. That this your holy and hallowed name may be praised, adored, worshipped, and exalted now and forevermore, we pray. He say, he say, he say, we have called upon the Most High Elohim. Now we preach the gospel of heaven. That is what is happening. I told you 2020. <laughs> they didn't believe me. We shot them. As you were shot yesterday. When you were looking at a frozen fish. They were moving the mouth of that animal. Telling you is a, is a presidential broadcast. And as gullible and as idiotic as some of you are, you bought into their nonsense. One thing that I find astonishing is there was a girl. I keep mentioning her every day because the idiocy of such people is what has kept us down for very many years. And I want to address the Igbo Efulefus masquerading themselves. They pull down their boxer shorts in the north. Their fellow men will razzle them and give them some money and some contracts. They now become intellectuals. So. And after a while, they give them gutter to manage drainage. Idiots. And to those of us, they claim they're intellectuals. Idiots. They're the ones now writing. Don't destroy what is in our land. And I keep asking them, can you tell me that one thing is in our land that is not worth destroying? But the full army can come to our land and destroy lives. You know, when I tell you that these idiots, they are not evil, you don't understand me. When I say they're not Biafran, you don't understand me. When I say that they do not have the core values of Oduduwa or Yoruba land in them, you don't understand what I'm saying. Now, let me explain it to you. <laughs> oh, dear. Are you sure these people are evil, some of them writing all this nonsense? And I will catch, we will catch all of you. Oh, go forth. We will get it. Because the amount of hatred we have in China, the amount of hatred we have in us, that is what is happening in Anambara. Pure, the, the, the Nigeria, the only thing that Nigeria has been able to teach us is to hate and to despise. Now, that hate that we've been harboring for years is now about to boil out in the open. And everybody will be affected. Everybody. Do you know where I'm saying what I'm saying? Look at all the nonsense they are writing from Ohanese and their throne and Yoshi. All of them from top to bottom. Writing everywhere. Writing their rubbish. Trying to please because they are Alemajiri masters. Janjaweed is now calling them. What are you doing? You are there. I, I gave you a contract. I thought you are the, the evil leader. I, I thought you control people on the ground. Well, what now are you doing? What is happening? Do something. 
They said, uh, uh, let me try. Instead of addressing the issues, they start to write uh, gossip. Actually, I own You are shelling melon. Now I you on WhatsApp. As if that man. <laughs> Super foolish show. As do you think, do you seriously think we have regard for all this nonsense you're writing? Now let me tell you why you are not able. Some of you idiots in Abuja writing rubbish, and a few of you in Enugu. You're not able. Now you are complaining that the edifice, the structure that housed the murderers of your brothers and your sisters at Mbor in 2016. You are telling me that they are assets. Now let me remind you why I said some of you are not able. There is a saying, there is a name we give to our children. It is called Ndubuisi. Ndubuisi means that life is more important than any other thing on this earth. Life. A human life is more important than the Eiffel Tower. In the olden days, if you were in the village, anything can be paid to ransom the life of a human being. Mankind. Ndubu isi. Ndu life is the greatest of all. Not an empty, burnt down police station. Now, all of you writing all this nonsense from Abuja, you people can no longer come home. I swear to God Almighty in heaven, no amount of begging. Because you people are evil. When they we are slaughtering people at war, your own brothers, your own sisters, your own children, did you write as vociferously and persistently as you're writing now that the building that was housing the murderers are in flames? A simple question. When they were killing us at war in 2016, how many letters did you write? How many phone calls did you make? Did you ask the army to step back? Did you ask the police to step back? No, you did not. You were in Abuja. In a hotel. Your face on the pillow. Your fellow man. And now, every blessed minute you're writing, you're making phone calls. Do something. Do something. Stop this. Stop. And I keep asking them. All these assets, you're, after the whole nonsense about Yoruba assets, they have brought their nonsense about Yoruba assets. And I keep asking, what are those assets? The assets is a police building. Oh. Now it occurred to me. All the, let me tell you why I said that they can no longer come home. <laughs> Do you know that in the cause of bringing down these houses of hell called police stations in our land. Do you know the documents we have discovered? Do you know that the checkpoints that they have on our roads that the Igbo politicians have here in it? That is why they don't want them to be dismantled. Do you know that we have found documents detailing that Igbo politicians in Abuja, they are the people making money from roadblocks in our land. How and the police in Mabateke, they share the money with the police. Hey, <laughs> Why do you think the youths are angry and burning down the police station? The politicians, they are benefiting from the suffering of their own people. They live in their mansions in Abuja. And if you don't pay 15 naira, they shoot you and you die. your own fellow brother those that, that call themselves leaders connived with an enemy that they themselves know hates you very very badly not only have they made your life impossible not only the fact that we are the ones producing the oil and gas 
They keep shouting Niger Delta, Niger Delta, Jaga Jaga, Jaga Jaga, talking rubbish. The oil comes from our land. The whole of Biafra. Everywhere. From Anambra all the way to Akwaibom, to Cross River, everywhere is oil and gas. But because the Atlantic Ocean is not close to Anambra State, they have to pipe the oil and gas to our coast that they name Niger Delta. Claiming oil of Niger Delta, oil of Niger Delta, oil. people are talking, oh, I don't know how to educate them for them to have sense. We have been denied the same oil and gas we have. Oh, listen, we don't have access to it. There is no refinery. No employment for our people. The head office of Shell is somewhere in um, Lagos. Or now in Abuja, only heaven knows. They don't employ the people that the oil is coming from their land. No! And when you talk, they say shut up. Little did we know that having denied us all these opportunities, we keep struggling, traveling abroad, doing everything, selling our land. Some people sell the only piece of land they have because in our culture, every male child is entitled to a piece of land. It's our culture. That is why to sell village land is not good. Ancestral land. Every child, if we keep giving birth to boys for the next five million years, each and every of that child, male child born is entitled to a piece of land. When you become a man, you get married, you go to your father and you say, please, father, show me where to build a house. And they show you. Is it right? It is a, uh, it's automatic. You must show them where to build a house. Even if they gave birth to you and your mom took you to, to Kafanchan and you stayed there for 40 years, any day you come back, even if your, your father is not alive, your uncles will show you where to build a house in a just and honorable society. Do you know what they are saying now? Hey, you, all these assets you are destroying. Somebody called me from Abuja said, oh, but you, you people are destroying our assets. And I asked him, um, please, one them, uh, uh, what are those assets we are destroying? He said, oh, um, uh, uh, police station at, um, at El Pusigo. Police station. Oh, you mean the same people that extort money from us in front of their police station with their checkpoint, clear well, Pack well. Show me your inner light, outside light. Show me your engine oil. In fact, show me the receipt of this engine oil. And if you say no, they shoot you and you die. And we will go on Twitter and tweet. Uh, it's not good. Stop this brutality. There was a death today at the Ekusiko. The police shot somebody and nothing happened. And after one or two years, or, you know, after four hours, we forget that person. In a society where Ndubuisi, life is number one. I don't blame them. Some of them go and do rituals with their parents so they have no empathy and they have no feelings. They are evil. He said police station. I said police station. He said yes. I said okay. No wonder you people are benefiting from the punishment being inflicted on your people by Nigeria police. And I said by the way during the poor massacre what did you do? He said, oh, I was concerned about what was going on, but I didn't know what to do. Okay, you didn't know what to do when the people were being killed, but now you know what to do when police stations are going down. And I said to him, you don't know how prepared we are. You have no idea, I swear to God in heaven. I said something to him that I always say to all of them. These people are angry. You want me to stop them. If I call them and say, okay, stop. Bringing down police stations. And they say to me, okay, I will stop. But can you bring back my brother you killed at Mpo? What would I say to that person? This is a very simple question. Why is it that now you want to stop the destruction of police stations that we are us? We are us who... 
when we were being killed at Mpo in 2016, you did nothing. You did absolutely nothing. Now you want to do something that means you hate your people. You are a beneficiary of a regime that is so evil and wicked that it is repulsive. Even to people who are not Nigerians. They despise Nigeria and what is happening in it. Now you understand, don't you? Now all of you can understand. Now Facebook can understand our anger. Now everybody can tell the reason why these young people are angry and bitter. Instead of you to say, we understand why you're angry. What can we do to stop it? Your concern is, oh, don't destroy police station. Don't destroy police station. Oh, please don't. Have you been able to assuage my anger? The answer is no. The same thing you do. So after one week now, we forget those you killed at uh, Lake Itogate. Is that what you think? We are now in this very campaign. Nobody will be forgotten. And let me tell you something. When you talk about compensation, you are going to compensate every family from 1960. <laughs> they don't know what they're in for. From 1960, there is going to be a register of all those who died at the hands of the Nigeria Army and police. It's called compensation. And I will explain to you where this principle came from. You are going to pay every family from 1960. Police brutality, even the family of Delegiwa, you are going to compensate them in such a way that you will no longer look for journalists to kill. After the death of Delegiwa, that was when they bought over every editor. The, from that day, journalism in Nigeria became trash. Everybody became afraid. I don't want to die like Delegiwa. I have two children, five children, six children. Who will train them? <laughs> Did you know why you pay compensation when you do wrong? It's not just as a recompense for the you know, loss of life or property or material or whatever it is. It is so that you won't do it next time. Next, had Nigeria been paying compensation to those killed by the army and police since 1960, there would be no SARS. Now, because you have failed to do your job, our children are now angry. And we are saying to you, bring that thing that you have. Remember what I said in the year 2012, when we relaunched Radio Biafra, I said, somebody asked me, are you sure this Biafra will come? It's a very famous quote now. What did I say to you? They will kill us. We will kill them. In the end, Biafra will come. It was that what I said? Those of you that can remember. You are in Janjaweed North. They, um, play, you, you are the after um, Hajia. After Allah Haji must have dealing with Hajia, you are a man, a grown-up man with title, with Ishago. You are waiting in a hotel for a man because you want to be rich. Because you want to make money. And after using you the way they use their cattle, you come back and you begin to behave like their cattle. Like Nama. You are concerned about a police station rather than the lives of your people that we are lost at Mpo. Has there been any compensation? No. Any public inquiry? No. Because all of you in Abuja are having fun. Your children are abroad. You are stu they are studying and life is good. You have a mansion in the village. When you come back during Christmas, you give them one, one cup of rice or one cup of beans. They hail you. But your own kids are abroad and you are having fun. And uh, 3rd of January, you go back to Abuja and start doing a meeting 
from Debo. Debo meeting in Abuja. Every year they are strategizing how we can make land better. Everywhere you meet them, all over the world, the same rubbish. They strategize and nothing happens. Nothing ever happens. Let me tell you one thing that you don't know. Rather than Biafra not to come, we will all die. Go and tell Britain that's what I said. Instead of Biafra not to come, I don't want to give you timeline, but by the sacrifices we are about to make now, you will understand how fun, how insane. I didn't, I didn't say, we are mad, insane. So all this, your nonsense can never wash. It can never wash. Try anything. I told them, you see, we are nothing. Try everything in your powers in this world. You have all the billions. You have all the gossipers. You have all the traitors and the sabo. You people are not up to not point, not, 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 not to a hundred one percent of our population. Now, now you understand that. Do you see the madness you're experiencing now all across Nigeria? That madness is also abroad now. We have activated our volunteers abroad. If you think what happened in Germany was too much, watch what is going to happen from now onwards. Do you know the maximum for life sentence abroad is 15 years? And every year is nine months. And if you are of good behavior, you will come out maybe after four years. Go and ask. Once you come abroad, you will be, your flesh will be torn from your body. Your, our hands will tear, will tear your flesh from your body. That the future generation may learn. You people are evil. You people are wicked. You people are, you are terrible. You are a leader. I'm a, I'm a leader. I'm an evil leader. Uh, stop that thing you're doing in Anambra. But when police stopped us at the checkpoint, extorting money from us, what did you do? It's a simple question. Now, do you understand why we are destroying the police stations? Why the youths are so angry that they are descending on police stations? Do you understand why? How many families did you visit after Mpoa massacre? Okay, Zibazo, you ordered the army to go to a national high school in Ungwa, Ungwa land, where you come from, to kill Ungwa people in Ungwa land. Did you go to any of their families? Did you say, oh, I'm sorry, I don't know anything about it? When they came to my house to kill me, and I miraculously, due to the brave, bravery of our men, I survived it. What did Okezi Bazi do? My father owns the land upon which the government house of Omai has sits. Of I do all of our state. Ojuku Bonka is at Obulisi Okwe. That was how I knew that Biafra would come from Isiama Farubu. Do you understand that? That was why I named my company in England Alpha Phoenix. Phoenix was the bird that rose from the ashes. And one day I thought to myself, perhaps God is sending us a message. If Biafra can end in my father's compound, Biafra will also rise from my father's compound. Ojuku went to Africa coast from my compound, if you don't know. It's called Afara. I checked the map. It is by Afara, the name of my village. And now I want to shock you. In heaven, the angels worship God using the oldest language known to man, which is Igbo language. It is the language of heaven. You'll be surprised today. Do you know I, I, I don't want to, maybe let me go ahead. Do you know, who, who can tell me, just write it, write it on Facebook. Who can tell me how the angels, the Muzi, how they greet Elohim in heaven? 
Do you know what they said to him? Do you know how God is worshipped in heaven? I don't know if they know it. Can they tell me? It is not he said. That's not what they say. Can somebody tell me what the angels say when they are before the throne of grace of the almighty? What do they say? Not he say. Not at all. You don't even know. They say, Mama, the lady chinek. Mama. And do you know the funniest thing? In Afaroku, where I come from, that is how you greet people. You say, Mama. Are you aware of that? We are the only people with the greeting accepted the whole of Biafra wide. The same greeting that angels offer God in heaven. Mama de Legitina can eat in song. That is all they say, nothing. Because God does not eat food, it's only praise and adoration. Nothing more. When we say we are born for this, some of you don't know where we are coming from. You don't know. When I was born, what did my birth certificate read? Did it read Nigeria? <laughs> they are these people. My birth certificate had Biafra on it. And it has not been typed over. There is no TPEX on top of it after 1970 to type Nigeria on it. It is still Biafra. Now you understand how mad we are about this Biafra. Some of you don't know. Those of you that listened to me in the year 2013, I was preaching this very gospel of heaven. And I said it because anything I say here comes to pass. And I said during a broadcast that I, Namde Kano, will sacrifice anything sacrificable to make sure that Biafra comes, even if it means sacrificing my father and my mother. Did I not sacrifice them? Who killed them? The same people calling today, telling me about police station in Anambra. That you killed my father and my mother. Did you not? And did you know how much I love and respect my father? You have no idea. And for you to take my father from me, I will destroy Nigeria. God is my witness. I am early soon and I will destroy Nigeria to the ground. You don't know me. When we were starting, I prayed to God Almighty in heaven. I was in Jerusalem. And I said, I cannot see anything around me. Do you know what God said to me? He said, The time I send people to you, and the whole world will shake. In the end, mankind will bow. You will go to this war with nothing. But I will prove to you that I'm God. After this, Biafra will worship God forever and ever. You are concerned about a police station. But you're not concerned about your people. 1,300 and counting. Dead at an war. Shot and killed by the same police. Why won't every police station in Anambra State go down? They will be destroyed, I swear to God, in heaven. And men will die, I know that for sure. This revolution must succeed, or we all die. If we don't kill you in the zoo, you come abroad, we kill you. You're talking nonsense. Has any of you paid any condolence visit to the families? Is there any monument in Anambra State? I'm asking you, for those you killed at all, any monument? I ask of you. That is none. Now you understand why these youths are angry. You killed their cousins at all. You killed their brothers and you killed their sisters. And you want them to forgive you. You see me, Pierre. Gossip all you like. And the Patagata, come to the ground, you see what will happen to you. Give us Biafra because we are mad. I'm telling you the truth. 
If you don't give us Biafra, everybody will go down. When we start our own, Boko Haram, will, you, it will be forgotten. When IPOB came, now there's something called mass up. They are gone. When we start our madness, you see Boko Haram, it will be a child's play. If you know how serious we are, simply give us Biafra and you get away. Go and meet your Al Haji lover. Who no photo and who was on the Go there and do it. For God Almighty in heaven said that Biafra is his own. That is why we have a place called Arochubu. And the temple of God will be built that man will marvel. We are going to build with gold and with silver with white and black marble from Ibo State. We are going to build a temple to God that even God himself will be proud of. That is the word of the ancients. That is the meaning of the name of the place. Aro, Chuku, God in heaven. There is no other place on this earth that God is pronounced as the name of a land. Nowhere else on this world, never apart from the state of Israel, which means the prince of God. For your information, this is the rich history you want me to throw away. Nation and Africa are inside the zoo. One Nigeria, one Nigeria. You don't know who you are. You don't know how precious you are. You have no idea. And that is why God is angry with us. That is why God is punishing us. That was why God placed us under the feet of cattle rearers, uncircumcised idiots from the desert. You are concerned about a stupid police station. Is it not the same police station we've been complaining about for years? The same police station where they extort money from people. Is that, am, am I telling lies? We are removing an obstacle. We know now, today, this evening, that the zoo is asking for the Ghanaian army to come and help them. Let them come. We all died there. I want our people to develop the mentality of Afghanistanis, Afghan people. Go and study their history tonight. Go and study it. We are in for the long haul. Instead of Biafra not to come, they will kill all of us. They think if they kill some, you know we are used to it. If you kill some people, somehow they run away. You killed my father and my mother. You killed my cousin. You killed 28 of my men. Are we not still doing Biafra? If my mother and my father can be in the grave today and we are still doing Biafra, that tells you how determined we are. Who else are you going to kill to make us stop doing Biafra? Who else are you going to kill? I'm asking. I will find the family of Yusuf Abubakar and Muhammad. All of you are going to die. All of you will perish. All of you will die. You people are about to see the unveiling of the wrath of God on all of you. You want to bring Fulani into my land, into the blessed land of Biafra that God protected for over 5,000 years. You want to come there to build colony, Fulani settlement. <laughs> oh dear. Lord have mercy. We are alive and we are direct. Only God can bear us witness, not man. You don't know what we have been through. Why, ask yourself, why are they looking for Biafra? Do you know why we, are, why we want Biafra? It is because it is the promise of God. When they asked David Ben-Gurion at the UN, why do you want Israel? He raised a copy of the Bible and he said it is the promise from God. Go and read it. Even Islamic clerics in the Arab world acknowledged that even the Quran said that that land belongs to Israel. God gave it to Israel. The same way that our land is sacred and very holy. And we are going to return it to that holiness. A place where life is sacred. Man can do not having Janjaweed idiots as DPO, as commissioner, desecrating our land, killing our people, harvesting their organs, and sending them to India. What did you say? When all those mothers were crying and saying, Sars has killed my child, oh, police have killed. What did you do as an Abuja-based rent boy? 
Male harlots, you know, who can Abuja. Now, nah, yeah, you want to speak English? Uh, 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 prefer, we are everywhere. We are Jews, we are all over the world. There is nowhere you go on this earth, you will not see a Jewish man, the same thing with Hebrew man. So, because Jews are all over the world, the state of Israel should not be founded because there is a Jewish man somewhere in Pakistan that has a shop. Because of that, the Israel cannot exist. Is that what you think? So, because you have a shop somewhere in, uh, in Ubuzo, because of that, Biafra would not come. Anything we do, oh, we are everywhere, oh, we are everywhere, oh, they have been genocide, oh, you know. When they killed you in 1966, after the war in 1970, what did you do? If you had done the same thing that Rwandese did, the Tutsis, the world would have heard about it. But some of you, you after the war ended, they gave you white 404 Opiacha. You forgot your responsibility to your people. You did not even have the courage, the presence of mind, nor the temerity to mourn those that died in the genocide that Fulani brought upon us. You were too cowardly. You were too greedy. All you wanted was money and fame. That is why you think I'm, you know, I'm like you. If you ask and say, oh, you want money? Oh, no, leave him the kind of, he, he wants fame and he wants money. And I keep asking them the same thing they gave you after the war. And you betrayed your people. You betrayed your people. Oh, you were formed in 1976. From 1976 to 2020, how many years in between? Please tell me. Have you built one single memorial to remember those that died? No. But IPOB did it. And that insane hotelier destroyed it. And I know why. And God in heaven told me why our senator in Enugu was destroyed. Why he used the demon. That is, I was looking to destroy it. And one day I was, I was lamenting and I was crying. And I was saying, what is this? Do, don't you want us to remember those that died, that sacrificed their lives for us? That was how we started 30th of May. In Enugu, I was there alive. Somebody should please bring out the picture and show them. And since that time, we've been celebrating 30th of May every blessed year to remember those that died. Those of them intellectual in Lagos, um, um, intelligentsia in Abuja, Igbo lover in uh, in uh, in Sabungiri. Why did you not remember the people that died fighting to preserve who you are today? Because you were chasing money and fame. So when we came out to do it, you thought we were like you. The same thing that it was Richard thought when we came. He thought I'll start building. He's building one-star hotel. He thought I'll start building five-star hotels. And I said to him that God asked me to do this. I have nothing. I don't wish to have anything. I'm not doing anything with it. I am lucky that I am one of those that recognize why they were born. I wasn't born for anything else. Just this. Nothing else. I have nothing. I have no need for money. I have no car. I don't need it. Do you understand us now? Oh, Haneze, why did you not build a cenotaph to remember those that died, that they killed? Because the same thing with compensation. If you force the world to acknowledge the genocide in Biafra, the same way today the world acknowledges Darfur. I don't know if they lost up to 50,000 people there. The same way that the world acknowledges Rwanda. The same way the world acknowledges, I think it's still Brenissa in Bosnia Herzegovina, and also the in um, Armenian genocide, in the people of Nagorno Karabakh. Has Biafran genocide been recognized? But you are busy in Lagos in Abuja running around, claiming you're really, you don't, you, don't, you don't know why our land is not developed. You don't know that it's God that is doing it, because you people offended the land itself. You say you don't know. You don't love us. You don't love, you don't have any love for your people. The only love you have is to keep us quiet. Shh, 
Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Oh, please, Al Haji is watching. Don't say anything. Oh, don't say anything. Oh, Al Haji, oh, please, don't be upset. Oh, everything is calm now. And they give you contracts. And you come back and you are a leader. And Elohim said, anything that is pronounced on this platform will come to fruition. And that is what is happening before our eyes today. Oh, and Eze, why did you not start 30th of May? Why did you have to wait for IPOB to do it? Why? Oh, and Eze, you never united the whole of Biafra. Why did you allow IPOB to do it? Don't you listen to our calls? People call from everywhere. We were even, uh, you know, thinking maybe our land started only from, from a wanke until our brethren from Igodomigo rose up and said, no, we are actually the key that opens the key. Ohaneze, did you do it? Pandef, did you do it? I came back from England. I traveled to Ebunabale. Did you go to to go and meet the traditional ruler to say we are one people he looked at me and he said my son this was in 1999 my son why are your fathers not here why you he said to me go and bring your fathers when they come I know you are serious myself personally you know that same day you know anything I do in life I have record that same day I went to the office of um, who is the now the leader of Mosop, the real Mosop. This one is copycat Mosop. The real Mosop, M-O-S-O-P, the movement for the survival of Ogoni people. At Mite. Mite, that's his name. Ask Mite. Did you see Namdekano in 1999 at Niger Street or thereabout in Iwacha in 1999? I was in his office. Try in 1999. Trying to unite our people. 1999. Something that they couldn't have done. Oh, and and the And today, the family is complete. The Biafran family is complete. They abandoned Igbo speaking people in Benue. Igbo people, not Igbo speaking, Igbo people in Benue. They abandoned Igbo people in Calabar. They abandoned Igbo everywhere. An outside man can wake up in the morning and say, Hey, come, 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 hey, come. Um, uh, Nyamri, come, 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 come. He will say, "Ha, ah, Alahaji, Nyamri, sit down." I, I don't like him. Uh, I, I, I think um, we discovered all you like, you know, Haji, and I think uh, on Haji, part of it needs to go to those with oil wells need to go to Niger Delta. He will say, "Ah, Alahaji, uh, is that what you want?" Yes, that's what I want. Nyamri, he will say, "Okay, Alahaji, no problem." And the next day, a family, maybe that is answering Ishima. You know, Haji, the same family. They will come, God, and they will draw a map. The Ishiwa on the left hand side is Niger Delta. The Ishiwa on the right hand side is Ibu. And Ohaneze was there just looking. And we are being decimated as a people, destroyed as a people. And they are saying that intellectuals, so intellectually, in in, in Abuja and in Lagos. They did nothing for us. If you ask them, what have you done for us? Nothing. It was our late eternal leader, Ojugu. When, look at them shouting today, he was a suffer and I said to them, why don't you buy guns and defend yourself? Can't you see what has happened we were trying to do yesterday night in, in, in Obibu? I was, uh, don't, don't say anything. Oh, hey, please, don't, don't join this protest. Please, please, my brother, my brother, Nam, don't join this protest. Please, hey, Igbo lives are stake in Kanu in Jansan. <laughs> and I said to them, and also, Biafra is at stake. If I don't do what I'm doing, Biafra is at stake. Why couldn't you idiots do what Ujuku did? Get guns and send them to the north. Defend yourself. You can't do it, can you? 
you allow full and it to intimidate you. I saw one video. They were in their room. Uh, jumping. Hey, you see you. Can you see what they're doing? These are people who claim they're Nigerians. So can you see what they're doing? They're destroying cars. They're destroying cars outside. <laughs> oh, dear. And tomorrow they will replace those cars. And they will still be in that same place that killing them. Why don't you come back to Biafra land and build a home you can be proud of? Biafra will be so strong that if anybody as much as comes very close to your vehicle anywhere in the north, we level that place. That's what Israel does. Israel spent 2,000 years begging. Oh, leave us. Oh, don't talk. Don't talk. Don't do anything. Hey, shh, don't talk. Until Hitler killed 6 million of them. You know what they said? <laughs> enough is enough. Because if we leave you, you're going to kill us anyway. Man, that was the first uprising against the mighty Hitler in Warsaw in Poland. The Warsaw Ghetto. The first shot fired. Everybody was falling by the wayside. In the Sudeta lands. Hitler's third Reich army was on the move. Nobody can stop them. They were unstoppable. Everybody was collapsing. Czechoslovakia, everybody was falling. Until one day in Warsaw Ghetto, they said, if we stay here, we're going to die anyway. We might as well all die like men. And they picked up arms. And the resistance against the third Reich against Hitler began in the Warsaw Ghetto by Jews of Poland. You know the funniest thing? At the end of that war, none of them survived. But do you see how we remember them today? That is called immortality. Immortals they are. Because every flesh will die. You're in Abuja Latin. Hey, he's causing trouble. Now the kind of cause, cause genocide. Oh. IPOB, what they're doing will cause it. You don't know anything. In 1945, when they killed us in the north, was IPOB there? In 1948, when they came, when the British massacred our fathers in Enugu coal mines, was IPOB there? When they killed us in 1953, was IPOB there? When Michael Ola went to Joss in 1957 and they massacred us, was IPOB there? I ask of you. When my Tessine started in, in the north, was IPOB there? When America bombed uh, Afghanistan, the Taliban, because of Osama bin Laden, and they killed you in Kano, I was there myself, was IPOB there? You see how hypocritical you Ephilifus are, how foolish you are. You, are not, you don't even know history. You know nothing about where you come from. That is why you are an Ephilif. And you're right. Stop it. Oh. There is genocide. You people think because you have access to newspaper editors, you can write whatever garbage you like and they will publish for you for 4,650 naira. I think I said yesterday that was the price. 4,000. I think this is the, uh, uh, the, la is the last price. 4,650 naira. And they publish whatever junk you have. That, uh, I think oh, yeah, 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 the last price is. Uh, is four thousand. Uh, they will start. And, and they on. You start from ten thousand. You start negotiating. On the, uh, publish this for me, please. I want Al Haji to say it before he gets upset. That I'm not saying anything. But when they killed your brothers at Tumpo, you said nothing. Ndubuisi. Ndubuisi. Now you understand why we are angry, don't you? Now you understand why we are enraged. I said to them. The day that I come, I will come with hell. <laughs> oh, they didn't believe me. The only uh, one of the things I will be eternally grateful to God for is that Nigerian youth they now they now have brain, they can now reason. I have seen many clips. I saw one fiery Yoruba lady on fire saying you want to bring ethnicity into this. Was it uh, Igbo people at um, Tolgate who were shooting the guns? Was it Igbo people that took away the CCTV cameras? But those yapping and gossiping are all intellectuals, which means they use their gumption, they use their brain to think. 
that their brain never told them that it was Tinubu's people that took away the CCTV camera. It was them that switched off the light. It was the governor of Lagos State that announced the curfew. And you, you know, that, that place is satanic. All these people that call themselves elders, they are satanic. They forgot those that died, though, forgot them all, forgot them. They were more concerned about a hotel. God forbid the evil in these people. You are concerned more about a hotel than the lives of young people you just wasted. That means that your life is worthless to them. They don't give a damn. And now, since you, our lives don't mean anything, your own life will not mean anything to us. You people are evil. Mad people everywhere. We must finish what we started. There is no, instead of this thing to stop, let there be no living soul in our land. It can never stop. Unless the youth of Nigeria rise up and give them this message. We are going to fight to the last man. They won't understand it. The guerrilla war will start very soon. The guerrilla war will start very soon. Instead of them to come to negotiate to say, oh, what do we do? They know I don't need anything from them. Go and take care of those that you killed. Take care of their families. Compensate them adequately. Instead of them to come, they say, uh, uh, don't take us for granted. Uh, cough you. We are going to introduce the army. Bring the this, bring the this. I want to remind Fulani of something. In times gone by, you tried to invade my land. You tried to come. You've, you've tried it before and you failed. It was the British that let you in through the back door. That war you've been craving, that thing that you want so desperately, we are going to give it to you. Be rest assured, we'll give it to you. At the end of the process, your children abroad will be killed. I'm telling you the truth. Your children abroad will be massacred on the streets in broad daylight. It is only prison sentence. You people, you don't know what you're in for. <laughs> you idiots, you have no one. They said they had a meeting. We, we, we are, we, they gathered in Abu That meeting, it was um, uh, agreed uh, that um, uh, uh, the separatists for, the, for once, we are no longer secessionists, which means they listen to the lectures coming out from this blessed platform because we proved it to them you cannot secede from something that you're older than they were listening they went back you know this fool sometimes the reason they thought they said, maybe they're right oh how can a grandfather secede from a grandchild. Is, is that possible? The man that owns the house and everything. You do, you you grew up in my house. And now you want me. Uh, you're saying I, I, I'm seceding from you. Today we have been upgraded to separatists. Go and look at their statement. I'll read it for you in a short while. I wanted to make. Reference. To a girl, her name is Adeola Fayehu. She used to work for Sarah Reporters. She's a very, she's a, she's a funny girl. She makes uh, funny moves and all the rest of it. Very good. Somebody sent me something and said she posted the speech that left us all speechless. Now she knows that Buhari is dead. Now she knows that this is not Buhari. But when we were, when I was telling her that this is, no, 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 no. he said, it's this, it's that they flipped it. They, they, that time the cash was rolling. They were sponsoring them. Last night, she, she's now saying, <laughs> the speech that left, oh, it left you speechless I, because I know that Buhari is dead a long time ago. Now you know. And some people do not like the fact that we are always right. They don't like it. 
you know, when it comes to jealousy, an evil man is number one in the world to destruction. The people are envious and their own jealousy, you, you cannot wait. I'm telling you. And you will. Why should it be, uh, be IPOB? Why should it be Namdekan all the time? Everything. Why? Because they would have loved it to be their own child. You see? That's how they roll. Also, cause one be Jidana Bujana Lagos. Writing crap every blessed day. As if <laughs> as if your junk on 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 a zoom newspaper can move us is that what you think that by sitting in abuja and typing garbage somehow oh, we are we are moved we are scared oh god tell him oh you want it that's god tell him oh uh, he's telling us tell him oh <laughs> as if <laughs> of course buhari <laughs> who doesn't know buhari is there i, I even have a clip here uh, from one uh, uh, from somebody saying that uh, well, I said uh, we told you the dead idiot gave a speech prior to them invading my house <laughs> oh dear me we cannot forget him he, he made a speech I tell him this is not Buhari because I know when the idiot died I know, when, I know the exact date and time the bastard died. And I asked the Nigerian journalist, they said, it's not, it's not possible. Uh, Britain is there. How, how can they allow it? <laughs> but it is Britain who is orchestrating it. <laughs> I told you before that they don't give a damn about you until Lekki happened. Everybody started screaming. I had to hold meetings with our people on Capitol Hill before statements started coming from there. They want to see my letter to the U.S. president. It was published in the U.S. yesterday. It's there. If you type in Nam the channel on Google, you will see it. I got babunanya. All of you, you see the way we are reminding you of those you have killed now from 1960. God is my witness. All of you shooting on the streets, or those that sent you, there will be no forgiveness. That thing you want, hey, you are going to get. Now think, if people can see soldiers and they're still coming with bare hands, imagine when the order is given, sacrifice your life and take many of theirs, what will happen? Are you, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Do you, let me ask you idiots that call yourself elders and all these fools gathered doing your video call. Do you outnumber us? Are you more in number than us? Do you think we don't? <laughs> anyway, let me not go too far. Let me not go too far. I love what Bonaboy said. You know why I love artists? Because they think. The reason why I love musicians, artists, actors, and others is because the reason. Bonaboy said, if this revolution fails, then it is over for Nigerian Jews forever and ever. He's a musician. Do you understand it? Are they going to kill us? Yes. Are we going to kill them and their children? Yes. And who is going to win? We are going to win this. God is my witness. This battle is already won. I'm telling you the truth. Sacrifice. We are going to make it all. Now, tomorrow they'll say, is somewhere. his family is safe. When I was in Kuje, where were you? A simple question. When I went to Epulobia and there was no road, where were you? I went to Aba and there was no vehicle in Aba for 24 hours. Where were you? 
They said the first state is a south, 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 is southwest to south, and all that rubbish nonsense. I went to Iguacha, there was no traffic for eight hours. Every in the everywhere was locked down. Ask me again, he will tell you. They said what was going They said the can is in town. Everywhere was closed down in Iguacha. That you call Port Harcourt. There was no movement. Now you understand? Moko Kebenine. We have already won this battle. But there is no room for complacency. We are going to keep marching until we prevail. And the more they resist us, the more you send army and the more you send the police, the more you're putting the lives of your children in danger. And in the coming days, we are going to set an example with one of you. So you understand how painful it is to bury a child because you don't know. You see, you see Nigeria? <laughs> the history of Nigeria, when it will be written. <laughs> oh <dear. laughs> you know, children will be going to school in the next 50 years. They'll be saying, uh, uh, Daddy, if you behave badly, uh, what happened in Nigeria will happen here. That's what they'll be saying in black Africa. <laughs> and they, don't, they have no idea who we are. <laughs> we have come to die. Heaven is my witness. We have come to die for what we believe in. And then you will know what destruction is all about. I want every police station destroyed in Biafra land and elsewhere if you, feel, if you feel aggrieved. Do you know why we need to destroy them? So that when they rebuild, if at all they will, when they rebuild them, before you go out to sort of checkpoint to start taking money from people, you will think twice. Now, this station was burnt before. I don't want it again. No. Anybody, for now, the real hatred is coming. And when you see it, you will wonder what God made these people. And men are coming out on Monday. <laughs> My goodness. If they have any brain in their skull, all they need to do is to do what Democrats do all over the world. If you're a Democrat, this, this is what you do. You believe in republicanism and democracy. That's what you do. You say, well, how do we solve this problem? Then we tell you how to solve it. Because this generation is not like the past one. No? You call one, one, one baboon like that. Looking to... to to fix uh, uh, his broken uh, uh, Alumaco window. But fortunately, he was called. He said, we belong to civil society. Whatever garbage that means. Rubbish in Wokoko. Civil society. No. You give them, maybe you give them, you share them. No. Uh, they, may, may, they are 20. You throw 5 million naira at them and they start scrambling it. And they come on TV, maybe Wazobi and talking rubbish. Oh, let's end the protest. It's, it's over now. Can't you see? <laughs> oh dear. We give you conditions in the open. We give you conditions in the open. We don't need anything from you. You are dealing with the largest mass movement on the face of the earth. There is nothing we cannot do. We are IPOB. When rain is falling, we can ask the rain to stop and it will stop. Don't you know that? BBC came to my house to interview me. Chineke no nyebere. And everywhere was rocking. Okay, Zibazu fled then. Complained the the only honorable senator there is. That we are threatening him. I said, no, I am in my father's compound. I am in Isiyama Farupu. We were here before government house was built. Where they have the secretary to the government or, or is, it used to be a classroom where I used to study. Library Avenue Primary School. Do you understand it now? Everyone was rocking and my cousin came to me and said, oh, there, there is raining outside. It's raining. It's raining. And people are soaked outside. I went inside on my knees and I called Mbokwe Libwe. I said, show me the sign that you are God. As soon as I came outside, everybody was screaming and I said, what it is? They said, the rain has stopped and there is a rainbow. And I said, what else can you see? 
they said the rainbow circled the sun and this side this very circle there is also a star and that day I said to them that Biafra will come in our time there will be sacrifices but Biafra will come now you understand who we are don't you I went to the same thing the traditional prime minister of a way the ancient way that our forefathers did it he held up a chicken used it to 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 circle it around my head on our go for on our go for a go for is a very prayer circling this live chicken all over me on my feet everywhere and I went in front of Douglas House and I PAB Chinek and Nakebini but this family this family Oh my God. Oh my God. The greatest family on the oh Chinek and Nankiwe. This family. Do you know the reason why we keep going every day? Because of IPOB and the sacrifice they have made. And we're not going back. Every police station in Nampra State will come down. Go and rebuild it. So next time, you will not kill other people's children. Now, you know what we are doing. It's rocking. People have woken up. Oh. <laughs> and Meiji said, now again, you know, so we we'll pursue all of you. They had a video conference. They gathered together. They were saying uh, uh, something about uh, 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 secessionist. Uh, uh, go back home. You need to do something. Uh, uh, we are going to do something. The same garbage every blessed day. They said they are smart, that they are intelligence. Criminals and arch looters. Arch looters and deceivers. Now, you all know that Buhari is dead, yes? Who else is in doubt? Recorded video after recorded video after recorded video. And I asked you, show me where our person did recorded video. Go and show me now, Jonathan. Show me one recorded video from Obas Anjo. Show God, show me now. Mad people everywhere. We see people who cannot reason claim they're intellectuals. Go and gossip all you like. The more you gossip, the more popular we become. That's why I love gossip. Oh. That is why I love gossipers. I love them. They, they know how to promote you, I'm telling you. Let me tell you what they are saying in Abuja. <laughs> Inside the house of Rock, the house of Lucifer, whom we are going to how end SARS protests protest was hijacked, misdirected. President Buhari tells former heads of state. Where did he tell them? Via a video conference call. <laughs> Zoological Republic. It is unfortunate that the initial genuine, well intended protest of youths in parts of the country against SARS was hijacked. <laughs> they are talking about, of course, who, who is IPOB. They are talking about who else is always IPOB. If somebody has a miscarriage somewhere in Brennan Kebby. They say it's IPOB. If your necklace is missing, or necklace, or uh, uh, you had a necklace is missing, they say it's IPOB. Oh, who, who took your girlfriend from you? It's IPOB. Always IPOB. Why is the road bad from any good nature? It's IPOB protest. <laughs> God. Hey, Zoo. Zoo. <laughs> now people are even angry with me telling me the name is not Zoo, it's a jungle. I want to sip some water. Can you hear me? Nothing is ever real in the zoo. Everything is virtual. They go sit back, they construct their 12 minutes. Every four months you get 12 minutes video and you're telling me you, are, you have brain in your, in your skull. You're telling me that God created you a human being. Every 
four months, 12 minutes video. Every four months, 12 minutes video. Our government will do trader money. Our government will do e-money. Our government will do... <laughs> Zoological Republic. I told you, you will fall. Was it in 2014? We said the zoo must fall. They thought we were joking. <laughs> Very soon. We are giving them only two more weeks. Then they now see what is proper madness. That time they will bring in Janja with soldiers from the Sahel. And then we slaughter them. And then one idiot in can we say, Oh, but we are here. And my, my shop is here. You are threatening me. <laughs> because you are in the north. You are placing the whole of Biafra land in danger. At the meeting, we are all living past leaders, including General Gowon, President Obasanjo, General Badamasi Babangida, Chief Ernest Shonekon, that stole Abiola's mandate, a thief, General Abdul Salami Abubakar, and Jonathan. And these are past leaders. And uh, I kept asking myself, past leaders. Under General Gowon, there was no electricity. Over 50 years ago. <laughs> 50 years. Under President, sorry, under President Tolu Shagun Obasanjo in 1976, no electricity. General Babangida came, no electricity. No running water. Chief Ernest Shonekon stole Abiola's mandate, no electricity. Abdul Salami Abubakar wrote the full and the constitution of Nigeria of 1999, no electricity. And good luck, Jonathan. Obasanjo came again, no? still, no electricity. And Jonathan came, no electricity. And the monster himself came and died in office. No electricity. <laughs> one Nigeria indeed. So being in one Nigeria means I will know not in my lifetime will I know 24 hours of electricity. Being in Nigeria means not in my lifetime will graduates have jobs. Being in Nigeria means not in my lifetime will I open the tap and have proper, what is called portable water. Never. Being in one Nigeria means I will always have to go through checkpoints and have to bribe the police to survive. Is that the type of country you wish to belong to? A very simple question which some of you cannot answer. But you're an intellectual, though. After rambling on and talking nonsense, justice for this, justice, the same old garbage, the same old rubbish, after threatening, look at Fulani, you think I use your threat, after threatening, you think it can work? <laughs> it may have worked in the middle belt oh, to people in Southern Kaduna. <laughs> we are their friends, it's not gonna work. It can never work. Ask the British, oh, ask the Oga, ask the Oga Britain who we are, and they will tell you. Bia France, Kikuyu people, Igodomi land. they fought. If you don't know, and the Irish, ask the British and they will tell you. You want to use your stupid terrorism to blackmail us into submission, you're joking. Now, Obas and Joe summarized for all of them when they said, where is it again? The former heads of state, listen, oh, the former heads of state also condemned, listen carefully. <laughs> he, he, this is, uh, it was only Amore that told them to put this here. It's Ohaneze that told them to add this very paragraph. The former heads of state also condemned the divisive, uh -huh, <laughs> inciting, Pronounce, <laughs> pronouncements of separatists. <laughs> they didn't want to say IPOBO. They said it's inciting and uh, 
divisive pronouncements. He didn't want to say propaganda either. By separatists, we have now graduated from secessionists to separatists, which adequately describes who we are. We want to separate from a demonic British concoction. And in that concoction, Fulani wants to kill everybody. And we are saying no. We are separating. And they claim to know the Bible and the Quran. Most of the major stories in the Old Testament, Prophet Muhammad copied into the Quran. Every religion in this very world, I believe, organized religion came from the Abrahamic faith, of course, which is Judaism. Now, listen very Abraham, loved by God, gave him everything. Abraham had, I think it was a nephew. If please, if I'm wrong, you correct, you correct me. Abraham had a nephew. His nephew's name was Lot. And they were living together. And God blessed Abraham richly. And God also blessed Lot. Abraham, who loved by God, listen very carefully. The same blood, the same family. One day, they were so rich that there was a bit of altercation between their shepherds and the when they went out to put the sheep to pasture for them to try and feed the, the sheep or the flock, so to speak. And Abraham called Lot in the, early in the morning and said, my dear brother, you are the son. Is it son of my sister or son of my brother? I love you very much. We are the same blood, uh, but um, we can no longer be together. Can't you see that your shepherds, uh, your handlers are, are quarreling with mine. God bless you. You have abundance of, you know, beasts of the field and God also blessed me. So instead of us to be fighting or to spoil this relationship, this family, please, um, we have this land here. Please, I have the very thing to do. Take one, let me take one. You first, take one that there may be peace in the family. And I also want to bring to your attention how we are in Biafra land. The world don't know this, but I will tell them tonight. The reason why we are Republicans and autonomous, by instinct, in your father's compound, you have the first son, you have the second son, you have the third, you have the fourth, you have the, because the girls they expected to get married and go out and develop their own families. The first son usually inherits the father's compound. The rest of them will have to move out. And when they move out, they may take the family name with them. Let's say the, uh, the family name is Obara, for instance. When the second son moves to another place, and gives birth to or spawn some uh, 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 generations, they will now answer Omo, Obara, referencing where they come from. Is that very clear? But the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth son, you must, must leave your father's compound for the first son and go elsewhere. So for us, being on our own and being autonomous is our essence. Nigeria cannot kill it. It is who we are. We want to be free. We want to be alone. Leave us alone. Now you understand. We have now graduated from secessionists to separatists. Because they too listen to this very gospel from heaven. If I'm lying, come out and tell me not to allow your stupid or so course want it to be leading you. You cannot be Nam the kind of for goodness sake. You can never be. Not in a trillion years you cannot be. 
You can never ever be. You can do your envy from now till the kingdom come. Your jealousy, go and expand it so it can fill a Dangote warehouse. It is not of our business. If you don't know, you are a fool. One day, a a a memilari. That idiot running his mouth somewhere. And the army. They're hiding him somewhere. We're going to find him. <laughs> he was running his mouth and the day they took him to say you are now going to be deported he was just rambling he didn't know he was dealing with the biggest family in the world anything we want to do to you we do it to you if you want you dead you die we want you to live you live that is how powerful we are if you don't know I'm a failure. I'm on the throne. And we worship him. I will now try to take just a few calls. To they say Calaba is hey, if Calaba is, is rocking. If you're not angry now, when do you intend to become angry? They have closed ranks. As our brother said, the doctor said, these are old war halls. They have closed ranks. They have called all their friends everywhere. Can you help us keep Nigeria one? We want to keep enjoying that oil dollar. <laughs> they better have failed. <laughs> they have failed. We have nobody but thee. You know how David destroyed Goliath? Goliath came with body armor, came with everything, came with ginger weed everywhere. They were hailing him. You know, he had everything with him. And David said, this armor you've given me is too heavy. He threw it away. The helmet is too much, everything. He even took off his sandals and there's nothing. He said, as God, Elohim, Adonai, El Shaddai, delivered all those lions that came to eat my father's sheep into my hands. Do you know that David referred to Goliath as a beast? That is not human. And God said, kill this, this animal. We are going to do something to the corrupt entity called Nigeria that by this time in the next 1,000 years, they will be talking about IPOB. I promise you that. You see CNN? <laughs> they are going to cover also. They will be begging to, for interview. <laughs> because the zoo is gone. Any country that kills its children with impunity, there is no remorse. They do not deserve to survive. Especially one that is heterogeneous like the zoo is. If it's a homogeneous country, I can understand that. The zoo must fall. The zoo, which means my redeemer live it. My grandmother named me Ngozi Chuku Ngozi Chineke. I don't want to answer it because I, I felt it was like a, a woman's name. Imam called him. It was called Ngozi. You know how they behave. You know? From one place to the another. You know, chewing gum and sweet. I won't go any further. For those who are as old as we are, you know what it means. You know, chewing gum and sweet, what it does to women on Anthony's bed. You know how we, how we used to say it when we were small. And we felt that it was those named Dungozi that uh, chewing gum and sweet can, you know, I don't want to go further. I want to play this very clip for you so you understand it, what we are talking about. That you may know Kalaba is rocking. Isidore Ike said he wants to report what is happening there and he will in a short while. I want to play this. Hey, Chungum, sweet. On a rap to my boy, Nabed Anthony. And it's always those named Dungosi, women or not men, that fall into that trap of chewing gum and, uh, and biscuit in those days. If you add Fanta on top of it, <laughs> George Abasa. Let us listen. 
Let us hear them. These are people, the zoo is rocking. The zoo, zoological republic is rocking. I don't know it is that idiot. I don't know it is that idiot. Let Chikoki Kabiyama be blessed. I want to open the lines, please. Allow those from Calabar to call, I beg of you. If you're not in Calabar, do not call. I know they will call anyway. But we want those in Calabar to call or you send us a voice note. You send us a voice note. You send us a voice note, please. Just a voice note. The caller on the line, can you hear me? I would highly recommend that you reduce the volume of whatever device you're using to listen to us this very evening, if you may. Your name and where you are, the world is listening. Yeah, good evening, my dear brother. Can you call is bearing us witness. Speak English to me, please, and your name and where you are, if you may. Biafra is not here, do not congratulate me. And if you want to congratulate anybody, you congratulate IPOB worldwide. The most formidable family that God ever made. Umu Chinekende Denso. The light of the world of Africa indeed. A noble family. IPOB worldwide. Worldwide. If you doubt me, you're an IPOB member, you're traveling to a country where you don't know anybody, just ask for the national coordinator and somebody will be at the airport to receive you. Under one command, only one singular command, not two, not three, not four, not five. The caller on the line, can you hear me? What is happening in Calabar right now? Please tell the whole world. We are listening. inside the warehouse. But the governor is a good man. Alade is a good man. Alade is, maybe they were lying to him. The Cross River State governor is a good man. So what's the problem? Yes, go ahead. Okay, but at least you protested today, is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We must continue. Calabar, I salute, I salute Calabar very much. I salute Calabar very much. They have done very, very well. They have done very, very well. And I commend them, and I want many more people to come out now we have received a report from Calabar. Let us open our lines to other people as well. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can hear you. Uh, Mazi, good evening. This is uh, Donald Chukuka, uh, Lieutenant Donald Chukuka from the United States Navy. You're from the United States Navy? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome to the program, and the world is listening. Go ahead, please. Thank you, sir. If you can hear me, um, I have something to say to um, Yes. I, have, I do want to commend you for what you are doing. A great job of leading the people uh, 
of uh, Igbo land. Okay? Thank you. What I want to say, we got to continue to fight. There's no, no, in the history of humankind, no people has ever asked for their freedom and it was given to them for free. It's true. If we need freedom, we got to fight for it. Now, yes. The truth of the matter is that we're going to lose people. People will die. Now, think about it. Now, whether we fight or we don't fight, people will die. Okay? Now, uh, for me, my perspective, what would I say? I will be at the forefront. Okay, now our fathers have made the mistake of not fighting for our freedom, which I know Jukunam the Jukunam the sorry Juku did. Mm-hmm. But after that, our fathers kind of just relax and let this 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 people just rule us and, and do whatever they want to do. Now it's time for us to fight for our children. So we can either stay there and let these people rule, rule us, but we don't have no hospital, we don't have no Medicare. The last time I came to Nigeria was five years ago when I went to the hospital. It was it was a joke. So I think I think what I want to say to our people is continue to fight. Don't back down. No matter what they do, they're going to try to oppress you. Let's not back down. My father put down on Chukuka from the United States Navy, VP5, station of Florida. Once again, I want to say thank you, sir. Thank you for what you're doing, and, and congratulations to the IPOB. I'm, I'm going to look for our. I just found this um, this uh, YouTube channel today. I'm going to look for our nearest um, uh, association, and I'll put my name down. And from time to time, you guys will hear from me. Thank you, and God bless everyone. Thank you very much, our dear brother. He is in the United States military, and he is serving currently. And when things hot, when things hot up, many of them are coming. The zoo, that you are going to fight an elite force, not the sea Janjaweed from the Sahel. Our people will decamp from every military they are serving in the Western world and they will come back home. And once they misbehave, the zoo, which we know they're going to, full and let me tell you this the God we all worship, Chukwu Kikabi, my God, Allah. That we praise and worship by his name i swear to you if you bring war to us no amount of united nations intervention will stop us that war will continue for 1000 years everybody who will come to lead biafra will be under oath to sustain that war do you know how the war of carthage was fought do you know the reason why Hannibal never made any peace treaty with Rome? Because the father called him on his deathbed and made Hannibal to swear an oath never to enter into any peace treaty with Rome. Do you understand? And of course, his brother betrayed him by failing to give him supplies when he needed it or, re or reinforcement so to speak everybody who will come to serve Biafra in the capacity of a prime minister because we're not going to have this stupid presidential garbage you are going to take an oath a blood oath that you will fight the full army for the rest of your life our army will be on alert and fighting every blessed day for a thousand years until there is no Fulani in Gobe, which is present day Sokoto. Our fathers were meek and mild. Their children are insane. We are mad. I'm telling you the truth. We are insane. And Biafra is going to come. Let's take this call. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? Good evening to you, Good. Good evening, sir. Where are you calling from? Evening to you. Where are you calling from? Okay, this is Hugo. I'm calling from Manabu Province this evening. What is happening there? Okay, we are everywhere. Everybody is in panic. We simply put. The reason is because I will serve for Lani. Do you people understand what I said? But I hate this stupid complaint. Go into the bushes. It's called gorilla. Go into the bushes and slow them down. Molotov cocktail. Since I've been hearing all of these things, I've never seen or heard that a Molotov cocktail was thrown anywhere. 
And all I'm getting is stupid, useless complaint. Useless complaint. That is what Indomie does to your bread. You know, the girl Indomie, that is a, a artificial manufactured like the zoo, that you don't know what to do. All you do is complain. Go and get a Molotov cocktail and do something sensible and stop complaining and whining. It's called a gorilla. It's a revolution. You kill the enemy with their weapons. That is called a revolution. Not to hide somewhere saying they are coming here. They are coming. Organize yourselves street by street. That is the tactics. All of you are coming at oh, we are protesting. You need to organize the defense of your neighborhoods. Street by once we have areas now that put now listen. Let me give you a secret. All of you, all Nigerian youths who are listening. Do you know that the zoo called Nigeria do not have enough police or army? to police every town and every village. So if we say today, this is a no-go area for Nigerian army and police, that is the end of the zoo. And you're here complaining like an idiot. Go and get a Molotov cocktail. Defend your street, defend your neighborhood, slow them down, kill them and take their weapons from them and you're here complaining like a child. She not my name, my brother. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Good evening, and where are you calling from? I'm calling you from Abuja. This is the Northern Region BRO. What is Abuja. going on? Yes, Abuja was on before the gender we fully took over by using a Dango Tales trailer to bring uh, the Fulanis to fight at Budu. Now, now, listen, now, listen, now, listen to all of you in Abuja. You must listen carefully to me. You see them with trailer coming, and you allow them to pack the trailer, to come out of the trailer, to come and attack you. Are you not foolish? When they are inside the trailer, you put petrol inside the bottle. You put sand inside the bottle. As the trailer is traveling, you light it and you throw it inside the trailer. They will jump out because they will all catch fire. And they will die in the process. Every time complain, all of you are graduates. Use your brains. We are our chemical engineers. We are all the people that knows how to build bomb. Huh? It's only to be doing selfie and posting rubbish. How, how about all the people that studied all uh, chemical engineering and all these um, complex sciences? Where are they? They are traveling with a train. And I've said to you before, there must be an advanced guard. There must be an, you must, mount people, you need to be more organized. You go to sleep. People in a revolution do not sleep. I do not sleep. Doctor said bed rest. I said, doctor, I cannot do it. Oh. He said, I said, I can't do it. And I'm no bed rest. I have not rested very well. So what you need to, you must not go and organize yourselves. Street, okay, today they came with trailer. Tomorrow we are going out to protest. How do we defend ourselves? You strategize and you plan. In that plan, that is how you begin to build camaraderie. You begin to know each other. You begin to die and live for one another. Not all these um, complaints. They, they came here. We saw them. They did this. We saw them. As they are inside the trailer. There are people with guns in Abuja. The sniper should take out the driver. And the driver will die, and the whole thing will some assault, and they will all perish. And people are here complaining every blessed day. I'm tired of these stupid complaints. I don't want to hear them. Go and meet them head on and kill the idiots. Kill them head on. Meet them head on and dismantle them. They are imagining, are they more intelligent than you? If they are intelligent, they will be in universities and in colleges. You are running away. You scored 320 in jam. You're running away from somebody who cannot even spell his name. What makes you an intelligent person then? What makes you defend yourselves and stop complaining? Defend yourselves with anything you have because if you like it or not, they will kill you anyway. If you don't defend yourselves, they will kill you. So you might as well go out and do the honorable thing. But meanwhile, I don't want to see any police station in Biafra land destroy all of them. Destroy all of them. There are Molotov cocktails, there are things, there are, there are missiles you can use. Use them and destroy all of them. So next time, 
they will not kill people's children. That's all. It's an order. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Hello, Mary. Linda, good evening, sir. Good evening to you. Please, your name and where you are. My name is Ifa Inwezi. I'm calling from your city. What is happening in Jos? Did they come out today or they have scared them away? What is going on? Trade fair is going on instead of protest. What is what, what is trade fair? What is trade fair? I, that is, I'm, 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 I'm just angry, my, my leader. I don't even know. I don't even know what to do. We are angry here, but the youth refuse to come out. That's my problem. The youth refuse to come out because for full need to go over just now. <laughs> they are doing one Nigeria and look at where they are today. <laughs> full has taken them over. It's a shame they are gone. In, in the next 20 years, Joss will become another Fulani Emirate. That's how they conquer you, slowly. One Nigeria. Let's unite. Let's, uh, let's eat the suya together. Let's eat the kilishi together. And as you're eating kilishi, you're eating your brains away. And by the time you realize where you are, Joss is in the hands now of Fulani Janjaweed. You are finished. You are finished. Join other Nigerian youths to rise up now. So during the final status negotiation, you ask for autonomy. That is what is going to save you. Or else, Jaws will be another Fulani caliphate in the next 10 to 15 years. And you are finished. And you, when your children will ask you what happened, you, you start lying to them. Telling them an evil man owned the shop near here. You won't tell them that you were so cowardly, you could not come out to protest. That's how cowardly you are. In Joss. That anyway, that is the it, uh, God is punishing some people because of Gowan. Gowan, Gowan was a complete idiot, and today his people are he, he, he's paying a very heavy price for it. A very heavy price. You know, you see how God is fighting for us. Gowan's people will be fulanized. Go and ask Ty Danjuma. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Good evening to you. And let me say something, please. All of you gathering in the afternoon, most of these police stations can be taken down at night. We own the land, so we know the terrain. We can burn them down at night and kill everybody who is inside there and free the inmates or those they have detained illegally. They want war. They will get war. They are... The caller on the line, please. I'm so sorry. Please proceed. You may you may proceed. Go ahead. Okay, my name is Tima T. I'm calling from Uyo, Awabam State. Go ahead. What is happening there in Uyo? It's, it, that, that, that one is not news. That's what they will do. Criminals, people who are in office, they are in power, they want allocation from Abuja, so they will declare coffee anywhere. What is news in Akwaibom? Tell me what is going on. There are some places that are born in Akwaibom, like there is one shopping mall they are born in Akwaibom. How can somebody born a shopping mall? Are they, are they insane? How can you go and born a shopping mall? What has shopping mall got to do with what we are doing? Is shopping mall police station? Is shopping is, 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 does the, in the shopping mall? Is there any SARS office there? In the shopping mall? Why are you burning shopping mall? Is there any SARS office in shopping mall? Why are people protesting? I'm asking you a question. Why are we? Why are people on the ground? Why? Why are people protesting? Why are people protesting? I'm asking you a question. How did how did this protest start? How did it start? How did it start? Was it not end SARS? Yes, yes it, of course. Now is have they ended SARS in Nigeria? Have they ended it? Not at all. Now that is why we need to destroy them before they destroy us. And is is SARS part of the of the police or not? Is SARS police or not? I'm asking you. 
is police now. Then that is why now people can understand why we are destroying police stations because the house SARS and SARS is not gone. So we want to destroy them before they destroy us. Simple logic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Don't talk. Look at people going to going to shopping mall. I can't understand them. <laughs> Hi, Africa. Africa. More, maybe most of them uh, have been targeting chocolate for a long time. They cannot buy chocolate because of how things are in the zoo. And they have seen chocolate somewhere in the fridge. And they want to go and burn it down and take chocolate and eat. Black people. We are in a revolution. And you're looking for chocolate in, 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 a, in a shopping mall to eat. And we are in a revolution. You are looking for chocolate. You are looking for gold, for bangle, for wristwatch. We are in a revolution. Take down every police station. That they may know how powerful we are. Burn it to the ground. Burn them to the, all of them, burn them to the ground. Every police station. And I want most of the attacks to be at night. Night raid and night attacks. We want to make, let them not sleep. We, they, we, we, are, uh, we protest and we go home. No. Organize yourselves and go into the bushes. Destroy the zoo before the zoo destroys you. Which arm of state was housing SARS? It is the police. Simple logic. Has SARS been disbanded? No. Even in Okozu, they're still there. We don't want to see any SARS anywhere again forever and ever. And you're lying. Deceivers and cheats. Where is your president? Zoo. Zoo animals. Where is your president? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. It is our president is a is a 12 minute video every four months. And we are a democracy. The giant of Africa. <laughs> On that note, we have come to the end of our program today. Destroy the zoo before the zoo destroys you. Destroy every corrupt politician around you before they destroy you. All the nonsense they are writing is not going to affect us. They keep writing. I'm sure before they, they write another one. We are going to find them and we are going to destroy them. They have been destroying us all and nobody said a word. Now we are chasing them. Every idiot is talking. We thank Chuko Kigabe Maprumi Helena. We thank our brave youths who are out on the streets. Do not relent. If you relent, if you think you're suffering, <laughs> your children will suffer even more. How much is a bag of rice? Maybe 27,000. How much is minimum wage in Abia State? 18,000. And you're telling me we shouldn't burn down police stations. I thank you all for listening from here. We must remain very strong and very resolute. But the zoo must burn and the zoo will fall. Go back and you're finished. If somebody who is serving in U.S. Navy can say, I will come to put my life on the line to fight for what I believe in, how about you? The zoo have been destroying us for years. Now our turn has come to destroy it. We were gathering here again in the morning. Oh. It's Shabbat evening, I know. But Chiko Kikadam is very kind. Even God in heaven who sent us on this very errand knows that the revolution has come. And I will have to broadcast on Shabbat morning. I thank you all very much for listening. You must remain strong and resolute. With all the love in my heart from me from here, good evening. Seriously, you know, are there times that when the elites, you know, the people in political power in Nigeria, the rich people, which you all meet all the time, are there times that you're afraid that one day 
the, the poor could actually come out. No, I don't know about others, but me, I do. Yeah, I, do. I believe that one day, if we're not careful, in fact, what we're doing, if you ask me, is not revolutionary. What we're doing, the seven of us and the rest of the governors who support us, is to save the ruling class from themselves. Because actually, we are, the way we are going, we are going, we are going to self-destruct. Uh, or the way we are going, people will rise up one day and come after us. Do you think other people are worried about that? No, I don't know. I've never had that discussion. I know people are worried about the way the country is going. But I don't know whether they are worried to the point that they, there, will be, there could be a revolution by the poor. Yeah. You know, nobody knew that what happened in, in Tunisia would happen because Tunisia was a police state. Mm. Don't forget that. Yeah. But it took the burning of one person. Certain this is, yes, that got, got to the shadow where it is now. The people will say, oh, Nigeria. Just like they say, no, but Nigerians can't kill themselves. Yeah. And today we will. And there must be mass action. There must be mass action. I continue to say, works. people must come out to the street. You see, one thing about Nigeria is the moment they see the police and the army, they run away. And that's because most of the people who come out actually are not poor people. They are rich men or rich men's children who want to enjoy themselves. The day the poor hit the street, then all of us will be on the run. All of you will be on the run. Yeah, including you, yeah. You're, you're, you're already on the run, so you're in America here. Yeah. <laughs>